first, I, I have to ask a, a question that I just don't get. And I talked to, uh, when we did the taping with Mike Tyson, the, he talked some about this. The no sex before a fight thing, like. It, it's different for each fighter, but a lot of fighters are affected by it, including myself. And you're sure this isn't just all mental? I'm sure, 110%. I, I'm not, I, I don't believe in placebo. I have to experience things for myself. And you notice that it has a positive impact? Yeah, it's night and day. I've only messed up like on occasion, once or twice, because it's noticeably different and I take more punishment in sparring if I do that. And my coach BJ will be like, did you have sex last night? You can tell without me even saying anything. He's just slower. He's not as good, he's not as quick, he's not as, as fierce, he's not as aggressive. It's, just, it's obvious to a guy who's been around boxing for, you know, I'm 42, I've been around boxing for, you know, 33 years. So I see it very quickly. And he always comes clean because we have like the whole, you know, full disclosure thing, me and him, we don't, there's no lies, doesn't matter what it is. And ancient warriors, they deprive themselves and they sacrifice certain things before they go to battle. And it's important that Jake sacrifices and deprives himself of certain things before he goes into battle, because that's exactly what this is. This is a battle. And, uh, you know, I want to make sure um, my guy has every single advantage that is possible when he goes into that ring. And uh, if, if not having sex for a little while will make us a half percent better, then I'll take it.